I want to say hello to everyone. I just something. I thought I'll talk about it. Now we have this beautiful guest who has came over here to bless us with her knowledge and wisdom, Mrs. Olivia the Oracle. But I just saw something. And I'm always inquisitive about things that I see. And I need an answer. And the only person that can help me with this is Tracy D. Tracy D. Why are you in the arms and bosom of Mrs. Olivia the Oracle? Why are you over there on her platform all of a sudden? Hmm. I haven't seen you there ever. Now, Mrs. Olivia has came over here to bless us with her knowledge and wisdom. Why is Tracy D over there talking in Mrs. Olivia the Oracle's life? I want you all to go see it for yourselves. Oh, really? Oh, so now she over there crying. Because she want Olivia to help her through. Nah, bitch. That's not how it works. Olivia won't be here long, bitch. Okay. Oh, Mrs. Olivia is just visiting, honey. Mrs. Olivia... She gets down in the trenches with us. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. But she's not really here over here with us. Tracy, why are you over here on Olivia's channel? Oh. I didn't watch the whole video. Oh, she offering to call in and everything. Uh-uh, bitch. Well, Olivia, let her call in. Mrs. Olivia, I want her to call in. I want her to call in. Because we got questions. I want to know about that restraining order. We got questions. But why is she over there with Olivia, though? Oh, she's over there with Olivia because she need help with us, right? Olivia, Tracy D is trash, just like Fat Babe. Birds of a feather flock together, bitch. But Olivia, go ahead and give her a fair chance. I ain't rocking with the bitch. Because, see, she was over there in that fuck shit with Five Bay from the beginning. I want to know the real tea. If she's not going to give us the real McCoy, there's no need in fucking with her. Why well, fuck with her if she's not going to tell us nothing? The shit she told us, we already knew that. I want something new and improved, bitch. Give me the new new. Don't fuck with it if she ain't going to give us nothing. What's she going to do? Repeat the same shit? We don't want that, bitch. Give us more. I want everything. And, bitch, I mean every goddamn thing you got. I want everything you got on Shalina. And I mean everything you got. I want to know when she goes to the dentist. I want to know when she goes to the doctor. I want to know who's her OBGYN. I want that shit. I want to know what time they wake up in the morning, her and Leah. I want to know what she feeds Leah for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Does she get a child any snacks? I want to know every iota. If she ain't got that, why fuck with her? I ain't rocking with no bitch who have stepping. 
Because God gave me two good legs. And I walk straight. Not crooked. My legs are even. I want every goddamn thing she got on Shalina. Uh-uh. Why is she here? Why is she here? I want to know where is the money. Show us the money, bitch. Because that is the reason why they fell out, right? What about no goddamn fake Gucci bag? When Tracy D over there wearing fake Fendi dresses. Oh, no, bitch. Come better. See, you may have pulled the wool over their eyes. See, they don't see. Bitch, I do. Not only do I see, bitch, I feel. My third eye is wide open. You understand what I mean? If she can't give us the, the, real, the real deal, the real spill of it all, ain't no need to rockin' with it. So she over there laying in the bosom of Mrs. Olivia the Oracle. Really? Not the Oracle. Mm-mm. That's our Maya Angelou. Oh, she done ran to Maya Angelou. Really? Well, you do know Maya Angelou. Mrs. Olivia the Oracle, she's going to ask you all the hard questions, bitch. Because, see, you're 10 years older than Phi Bay. So why were you there in the beginning? Mrs. Olivia, if you decide to open your phone lines for her and the rest of us, I want the beginning to the end. Uh-uh. And I don't want no, she's not going to answer the question. If she's going to talk, she's going to tell us everything. There is no question off limits. You understand? That's, that's what I want. Because see, fucking around with this fuddy-duddy right here can fuck up your channel. You know that, right? She wouldn't be, a, she wouldn't be on my channel. And I don't even call myself no content creator because I ain't got no motherfucking content. The content I'm utilizing is you bitches. You all are my content. I wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for you bitches. Y'all are my specimens. And I'm just sitting here putting your DNA on a spectrum looking through a damn Microscope. I'm the scientist. And you all are my test dummies. You understand what I mean? If she can't tell us the real McCoy, ain't don't need a rocking with her. Is she willing to tell the truth? Is she willing to give us everything she got? This been going on too long. We're on day number three. Honey, the meat is spoiled, honey. I can't even cook this meat. I gotta throw this shit in the trash can and go back to Snooks or Durberg's and buy me some more. Those are our local grocery stores here in Missouri. We're in St. Louis, bitch. I gotta go to a meat packing plant. Because that meat, uh-uh, wasn't enough. I'm still hungry. You know, I'm skinny. I'm a, I'm a 12 year old, nine year old, whatever age you are. I'm 12, you know, I'm a 12 year old boy looking for edges, bitch. And I'm hungry and thirsty for two 11s. Know what I mean? So if Tracy D got some news we can use, I want all of it. I want meat and potatoes. And also, I love me a little bit of shrimp and grits. And make sure my two 11 it's cold. Give me a silo cup with a straw, bitch. And don't forget my goddamn two lemons for the 211. I take five for, for a glass of water. But if Tracy D ain't got no real information, why rock with her? Why fuck with her? So now she wants to call into Olivia. Oh, really? Mm. Now she want to call Olivia, really? Mm. 
So she wants to call Olivia. I want her to. Because Olivia's going to ask her the true hard questions. Yes. Yes. I didn't know nothing about that, that she wanted to call in. I didn't know nothing about that. I have to go watch this whole damn video then. Because I came in while I was going on and I heard her say Tracy D. And I looked in the room and I see Tracy D sitting talking. Really? Hmm. Who did I block earlier? <laughs> Miles, who did I block earlier? You said, who? I don't care about James coming on live. James is not our arch nemesis. What the hell do you mean? James and Olivia are friends. We're all friendly on here. Uh, Tracy D isn't our friend. Tracy D was over there in that fuck shit. I never had a problem with Tracy D until Tracy D started following, doing the same fuck nigga shit as Fibay. So she's a, she's held accountable for Fibay's fuck nigga shit. She decided to moderate for that bitch and was over there moderating for that bitch when she was doing that fuck shit. So she's held accountable as well. The fuck you mean? I don't rock with no hoe who's moderating for a hoe who's doxing me and talking ill about me. Now, I like me some Tammy Body. I know Tammy Body over there with uh, Duchess Kelly Love, but Tammy Body is in my room as well because she got her own thing. She got her own mind. But when you just sit your ass on somebody... Uh, platform and also sit your ass in somebody goddamn room while they dogging me. Fuck that. I there is I there is no honor here. And I told you I don't do goddamn abuse. I ride with bitches who ride alone. If you pick a side, bitch, and you don't pick my side, fuck you. That's the way I get down. I do not rock with no fake ass bitches. And I most definitely don't rock with no scary ass bitches. And half of these bitches ain't nothing but some punk ass bitches. Nothing but some goddamn keyboard gangsters. Wouldn't ride up and if I rolled up to their motherfucking house, wouldn't even come outside. Fuck out of here. Fuck Tracy D. Tracy D is just as sick as Fight Babe is. You 10 motherfucking years older than that cunt. Really? You and that bitch were not only on YouTube together, you bitch were behind the scenes together concocting bullshit. And now QB ass in the hiding. You don't bring your ass back here? Now QB scared. What the fuck? Not Chicago. Not the murderous city of Illinois. I see number punk bitches from Chicago. Everybody running scared now. QB hiding under the covers. Five days over there crying in her pillow. Now she done painted her wall blue. And now Tracy D then ran into the arms and the bosom of Mrs. Olivia the Oracle. Nah, bitch. Uh-uh. 
No, I will keep my foot on your motherfucking jugular. Most certainly will. I won't that damn detail, Tracy D. And I mean that. Let it have been Kwani. It had been video on top of video on top of video on top of video. Let it have been Kwani and crew. Let that have been my motherfucking team. They wouldn't have let me rest now, would they? Let that have been Q Squad doing some fuck nigga shit like this. Honey, these videos will be in rotation. And you know that they would now, wouldn't they? Come on, Ness. You know how they get down on you, too. Let it have been us. There'll be no rest for the there'll be no rest for the weary. I'll be over here weary. And I wouldn't be able to rest because there'll be video with my name in lights. It'd be lights, camera, action for Kwani. Had that had been Kwani. Now, wouldn't it? You know what the fuck they do. It'd been, on, it'd been video on top of video. Even motherfuckers who claim they retired from this bullshit. When it came back, they would have resurrected themselves. They'd have dug their asses straight from the grave, pushed a tombstone over, and came back to roast me. Now get real. These fake ass, ragged ass bitches on YouTube. Hell yeah, I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to keep talking till I get every goddamn truth. I want to know everything about Fat Babe. And I do me every goddamn thing, bitch. Now she over there in the arms and the bosom of Mrs. Olivia the Oracle. Really, Tracy D? Really, Tracy D? It seems to me you owe us all and all of us an apology. That's what it sounds like to me, bitch. I think you need to go live and tell us all you apologize. You owe all of us an apology. And the first person you owe an apology to first is your goddamn self, Tracy D. That's who you owe an apology to first. And then the second individual should be your daughter, bitch. And the third, Tracy. You fuck nigga. Fuck out of here. Are y'all fucking kidding me? Y'all gonna let this bitch live? She didn't give us no tea. What she give us? She didn't give us shit over there. Why would I call the FBI? FBI for what? They'll get them. They'll catch up with a chair. They ain't my job, chair. I already, I've already given names that I need to give, chair. I've already given names that need to be given, honey. Because there is a case open, chair. Believe you me. There's a case open in Missouri. There's also a case open in Mexico. Oh, yes. The case is open and I've added others to the case manifest. Okay. Like Bradley. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like Shalina. Uh-huh. Case already open. New Mexico did that, you know. New Mexico decided to do what he wanted to do, so he fucked y'all. Y'all let that white trash fuck you niggers, right? Sure did. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm hmm. Ain't that right, Jason? Ain't that right, Jason? Isn't that right, Jason? Isn't that case open in New Mexico? That's the reason why Jason flipped over trying to change some stuff about himself. Isn't that right, Jason? There is a case open in New Mexico. There is an agent that I'm working with in New Mexico. I babe. You're not alone, sister. My case was first. But we're going to just add them all together, my love. Okay? That's all you y'all think y'all, see, y'all, y'all think that's too much. You know how long it takes to build a case? You know how long it takes to build a case? Kwani goes live for a reason, bitches. Mm-hmm. Kwani going live for a reason. A season, but not a lifetime, bitch. See, when you fuck with me, I fuck you. 
I'm going to show you who dick is longer with girth and the blackest. The dick's so juicy, so good. Mm -hmm. When I put it up in you, you're going to feel it in your throat. You're going to think you got a frog, child. You're going to think you got a frog. But back to what I was saying. There's no need to call the FBI. That's already been worked out, child. Okay? Already been worked out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Of course they owe James an apology. But they owe Tracy an apology also. So I would say, first of all, like I said before, the order of apologies, even though it's not a word, but the order that the apology should come in from Tracy D. is for her to stand in her mirror and apologize to her goddamn self. Then she needs to stand in front of her daughter and apologize to her daughter for bringing her daughter in this bullshit. See, because she is the leader of her family, not her husband. And I know y'all believe that men are the leaders of the family. But to be honest with you, it's really the woman. We just let men think they are the leaders. You know what I mean? They may call him the king of the jungle, but he really isn't the king. The king is the lioness. You know what I mean? She goes out and hunt for the food and bring it back to the herd. He just sit there and watches the pride, bitch. And let me tell you about a lion. When the lion is done with you, like what men will do. When well, they're done fucking that same pussy and they move along to new pussy. This is what lions do. When they're done with that old pussy, that lioness's pussy and his own children, he goes and get a new herd. And let me tell you what he does with that new herd. He kills the new herd. He kills all of her offspring because they're not his. They're not his children. They're not his cubs. Why should he give a fuck? You know what I mean? Y'all must don't know about animal life. Because see, Sean is always talking about he a king. No, he isn't. Those women make him feel like he won. With those females, because ain't no goddamn women. They're bringing him back to her. Back to my, he, they're bringing him the food. He's sitting there watching. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. Sitting there just licking himself. Perched. Licking himself. Y'all don't know nothing about Animal Kingdom. See, Kwani reads books, honey. See, a lion doesn't do shit. But just sit and watch. The only time a lion normally moves is when he wants some ass. And when there's nobody there to get him any food. Because he's not going to let his stomach touch his back. But he'll let the rest of them starve. In the animal kingdom, that's how it works. It's a circle of life, bitches. You didn't know that? When a lion is done with you, he moves along. And if there are cubs sitting there that don't belong to him, he will kill them and eat them. And then he'll turn around, that dumb bitch... That dumb lioness, she'll let him. And then she'll turn around and make babies with him. Just like some of you bitches. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For the ones who are not dumb in my room. And that are not dumb when they watch this replay. Child, please. Uh-uh. No, Tracy D. Kwani sees you, bitch. I smell shit a mile away. And I'm in a different state than you. But she didn't ran over to Mrs. Olivia. Oh, help me, help me, mayday, mayday. Oh, now she's out in the water now. And then she asking for her sea legs. Child, please. Really now? She asked for Mrs. Olivia to come over here and save her. Save her from what? Girl, we don't give a fuck about you. Well, I don't. 
I don't give a fuck about her. I don't give two flips about her. Actually, I don't give a half of a flip, last alone one, one or two. But it's just ironic she ran to Olivia. Oh. Even though Olivia is very wise. I love Olivia. That's my sister, child. Olivia is my sister. And I know that some people's over there tell. Somebody went in her room and say, everybody turned against Kwani, bitch. Nobody never liked Kwani, child. Nobody never liked, nobody likes a bitch who tells the truth. Nobody likes a bitch who got her mouth always open. Nobody likes a bitch who's wise. No one likes that. No one likes a bitch who's always laughing at a hoe. Calling you nigga bitches, I call you what you are. You should be used to it. I don't understand why they're not used to it, Batman. They own parents who or whoever the fuck raised them called them those things. So I'm not even understanding why everybody's so conflicted. So upset that somebody's called you a nappy head. When you call that as, like, as a child, when they was sitting you down in the chair, pressing your hair. Mm. How soon we forget? You think I'm supposed to treat you better? No, nah, bitch. You're supposed to treat yourself better. It's not my job to treat you good. It's my job to treat myself good. I don't get on YouTube and ask no bitch to help me through, through life. And I, I'm so con consumed and conflicted and upset about what some hoe said about me. Not at all, bitch. I get on here and use my voice and call you the same goddamn thing you call me. Like when Billy said I was trash. Just like you. See, I'm not bothered by that. I'm that Abercrombie and Fish, bitch. See what I mean? Bitch, you got a retirement plan. What you got, bitch? You're there paying for a car and the woman dead. See what I mean? Uh-uh. But you talking about me. You need to be over here getting this wisdom as well. See, Kwani is wise. Just like Olivia. See, but Olivia, let, Olivia, she's a little bit different than me. I'm very much more reckless than Olivia. And that's why she has that name. Olivia. Like the show that used to come on television. I never watched it because I don't believe in no damn black woman fucking old cracker. Just never gonna marry her. Like Olivia Pope. I thought that show was deplorable. I saw nothing but old bed wench. That's what I saw. But see, our Olivia is it. She's power to the people. And that's why I love her. And I understand why Tracy D over there, because she needs her. She needs Olivia the Pope. But see, this Olivia not going to give you that. You do know that, Tracy D, right? Do you think, do, do you really, are you really ready to rumble with Olivia the Oracle? You hear what's on the back of the name? Oracle. I think you better look it up, girl. I think she needs to look up, look, look up Oracle, what that means. But not only that, you need to ask Mrs. Olivia, the Oracle, how, what type of game she plays. How is Mrs. Olivia built on the YouTube? Because we really are all playing a game in some facet. We got life mixed in with Fortitude of entertainment. Mm. Really? Out of all the individuals she could have ran to, she ran to our guest while we're down in Cabrina Green. When I go live from now on, we're in Cabrini Green. Mrs. Olivia normally doesn't get off her porch. But she decided to make a special trip to Chicago in the slums with us, Cabrini Green. Kwani rebuilt it, you know. I rebuilt it with my edges. See, my edges, I rebuilt it. 
I even moseyed on over the Duchess Kelly Love channel. Well, not channel. Duchess Kelly Love's wallet to get the credit card that doesn't decline to help build Cabrina Green back up. So I will be considered now Cabrini Green Chronicles. You like that? We're going to utilize everything the slums has. Raggedy balconies that are rusted. Everything's dilapidated. It may look raggedy on the outside, but some, some apartments are beautiful in the inside. You, have you ever been to somebody's house before and you look at the outside of the house and you say, oh my God. And you go in and you just forget that you even saw the outside because it's so vainglorious in the inside. You know what I mean? I'm sure we all have done that. You go, you look outside, you, you, you drive your car up and you park. And you look at the outside fixture of the domain, the domicile. And you walk in and it's Taj Mahal. You know what I mean? That's what I'm giving you with my Cabrini Green. You know what I mean? So Duchess Kelly Love credit card helped me with Cabrini Green. The declined one. And my bald-headed ass. And I had my Jewish husband to help me with the rest of it. See, my 12-year-old body and my bald-headed ass with no edge is living in the garage. I had money, clout, mm, chutzpah, kahunas to build up Cabrina Green. So when you come to my channel, always know you're in Cabrina Green. When nothing really matters, anything goes, including the bitches and the hoes. You hear me? Anything goes, including the bitches and the hoes. Now, outside of Cabrini Green, you're going to get project. Project life. Project living. Well, they out there selling drugs. Okay? All kinds. Perks for Rita. Marijuana for the rest of you who like to indulge. We even got a liquor store inside of the building. And we got to have it fully stocked with 211. That's my kind of style. You know. Selling baby pampers. Selling Lucy's. For the ones who don't know what Lucy's are. Loose cigarettes. We got Bisson and Hedges. Menthol lights. We got Cool Filter Kings. Virginia Slims. We even got cigars. We got Swisher Sweets. Yes, we do. We got Pissy Elevators. And of course, we got stairs because you know there will be a fire hazard if we didn't have any stairs. Because you know I had to go through a lot of paperwork to make sure we can pass the inspections. But one thing about this Cabrina Green that we got, only thing missing is the fire department to put out the fire. Because see, when I leave Cabrina Green, I'm going to burn it down. And whoever chooses to stay, that's all on you. You're not going to have any choices but to stop, drop, and roll out of this motherfucking building, Okay. This building has 20 floors in 2020 because it is the vision, the vision. And the reason why I decided to do this because I have a purpose. <laughs> you hear me? There is a purpose in this. 
because I've noticed that everything's burning now. What do you all see? I see bushes are burning. I see people are scared and running all around like chickens with their head cut off. Mm -hmm. I see Babe Nation imploding. Is that what you all see? I know what I see. I see a nation underwater. What you all see? I see the leader. The so-called leader. Phi Babe. She don't know what to do with herself. She's in a tizzy. Oh yes, yeah, she's in a tizzy. She don't know her right from her left or up from her down. She don't know what the fuck to do. Because I think Tracy D holds some information. It's not that I think, I know she does. Tracy D, I want to start from the beginning. Was a restraining order granted? It should have been Shalina Marie Simmons versus Susie Lillian Virginie Cardone. See, that's what it should have said, right? A restraining order. An order of protection. I want to know about that. Let's start right there. The beginning. That's the information I want. And you are the only one with that information. Even though I already know it. But I want you to tell the world. That is your boom, right? That is your boom, right? And then what happened? Five babe said, I'm going to give you money. Thank you for riding for me. I never had a sister before. I was, I'm just, oh God, I just feel so wonderful. I just never knew that somebody could like me this much on YouTube. I never knew that I can just get on camera and somebody will like me. Somebody will finally see me. See me. You understand what I'm saying? See me. Because five baby mother never saw her. Neither did her pappy. Because her mother was a whore, right? Her mother was a prostitute. Her own brother who's in prison for life said that. We didn't make the story up. But Fire Babe also said that her mother has always adored the boys. The boys were more special than she was. So what does that mean to us as girls? As women? Come on now. How would that make you feel? If the womb you came from wasn't there for me, for you. If the womb you came from chose your siblings over you. There are many of us on YouTube. You do know that, right? Many, many, many. So many minis, I can't even write them. I'll be up for seven days and seven nights. But ask yourself, how would that make you feel if that's never happened to you before? Never happened to me. But I can only imagine. Only imagine what, what it can do to you. What it can do to your psyche. To come from someone that you want them to love you and they don't. And I really believe this, Shalina. Because you're listening, sister. And I want you to hear this. It changed who you were as a person. To want your mother's love. 
and not able to get it. And you thought by buying your mother. That's the problem with Shalina. She wants her mother love so badly. And what she utilizes bad behavior to get her mother's attention. That's the same thing she does to us. When she's acting out, she's looking for attention. That's all she knows. It's about being a buffoon, being a liar, being conniving, being a thief. That's the only way to get the attention. Who will sit in front of a camera and rub all over themselves like a common whore? And I understand that Demi said she didn't do drugs. Demi, she does. She is a drug addict. Yes, she is. Primos is drugs. Marijuana is drugs. I don't give a goddamn it's legal or not. It's drugs. But Tracy D, back to you. Now she over there begging for Olivia to talk to. Mm. But weren't you over there in Five Baby's room when Five Baby was saying that horrific shit about Olivia? Hmm. She was. Because I was over there watching. Actually, Remember when Five Bay modded me up? Because she wanted Olivia and I to be into it. Haven't y'all noticed that? They've been asking for Olivia and Quanta to argue for years. Isn't that something? Olivia, you've been gone too long, baby. They're saying, I went over there with Jason and was canoodling with them. Oh, no, bitch. No, I wasn't. I went over there because Duchess Kelly Love was canoodling with Jason. Oh, yes, I went to that channel. Sure on the fuck D. Now, Olivia, if you want to know about that, maybe you should talk to Kwani. Because Kwani is the only bitch that can tell you what the hell happened. I don't fuck with Duchess Kelly Love anymore because Duchess Kelly Love is a backstabber. And if TSC Steve still riding with that bitch, something wrong with you. And Duchess is a punk too. Ain't that some shit? He just not no punk because he toot his booty up for a cracker. He's a punk because he's just a punk ass bitch. I don't want to get in. I don't want to get in. Why did you close your channel down, Duchess? Did Duchess ever explain that? Has Duchess ever told us why he put his channels on incognito? Can anybody answer that for me? Why were those channels put on incognito? Is it because you was in that little boy room? Duchess, that was you in that little boy room. And I don't give a goddamn what no bitch say. Duchess, that was you in that little boy's room. Now, maybe you didn't know it was a little boy. But you were in that room, bitch. Oh, Mrs. Olivia the Oracle. We got some pedophiles over here too, honey. I want you to know that too, Mrs. Olivia the Oracle. Honey, you miss so much. We got pedophilia going on over here too. Well, we got grown women with children over there having conversation with a 15-year-old black child. The mama. The mama went on Bless Watkins Channel, child. Oh, yes. Mrs. Olivia, you so odd. The little girl. We got pedophiles over here. We had Justice Kelly Love over in the 15-year-old room. Oh, yes. Yes, we did. Jason was over there in that room with a 15-year-old. 
Jason had made the little boy a mod. The little boy had made all of Jason's people moderators for his room. And Miss Pizarro was over there dilly and dattling with a 15 year old as well, child. Honey, you didn't miss out. We got pedophiles all through and through. Cabrina Green. Hold on to your children, child. Ain't that right, Pizarro? You call them children. Hold on to your children. Mrs. Olivia, honey, you missed out. We got pedophiles over here, girl. They are really having full-fledged conversations with teenagers. Children. And some of them even knew that there was a child. They knew it was a child and was talking to it. Kwani called the FBI on them. Oh, yes. Did you tell Mrs. Olivia that? Oh, yes. The FBI is in our midst, bitch. Yes. Because they're over there having conversation with teenagers. And they are fully aware it's a child. Let's tell our guests what's happening over here. Let's tell Mrs. Olivia what's going on over here. Mrs. Olivia has blessed us. Let's abreast. Come on, give her up. Come on, get her up today on what's happening over here. Well, all of you fuck niggas. Oh yes, girl, we got pedophiles over here, honey. Fool. I mean, they living live in the color, child, and making excuses about it. I just wanted to ask a question. Why would a grown person be having any form of a conversation with a child that's not yours? Mm -mm. Now, I understand that children may be watching us. I'm not in control over that. I'm only in control of what I do and don't do. Mrs. Olivia, girl, you didn't miss out, child. Welcome to Cabrina Green. They didn't tell you everything that did they? While somebody was over there under a troll account with five days picture. They didn't tell you everything that did they? Tell them about, uh, did y'all tell Mrs. Olivia about the pedophilia? Did you all tell Olivia about how all you black bitches had doxed me and gave my information to Jason. Did you all tell Olivia that? Let's tell Olivia that. Let's tell Olivia how Five Babe calls his name out time and time again, including Tracy D. Mrs. Olivia, if you're going to talk to her, ask her why she calling out Jason's name all the time. If you're going to ask them questions, you got to, Olivia, you cannot have the conversation with her yet until you get yourself caught up on the bullshit. It's so much bullshit going on, you can't talk to her yet. It's too much. Even Sean Bradley was over there with Jason. Come on now. Over there with that cracker. Uh-uh. There will be no interview until you get all the details. How you just gonna pop in like uh, Boba Walters? We don't know all the details. Uh-uh. Tracy D was over there with that cracker too. The cracker called in, well, popped on her, on her daughter's stream yard. And what did her daughter do? Oh, Jason. Really? Tracy D, did you tell Olivia that? Why you over there in Olivia's bosom? Are you telling Olivia those things because if you're gonna go live and talk about it i want everything 
And I do mean everything. I want to know who all was involved in setting up Susie as well. Besides Sean Bradley. I'm even kind of thinking maybe even Shells was part of that. Shells. Were you part of that as well? Wiley. Were you part of that as well? Five Bay wasn't part of that. I know a lot of y'all probably say five. No, uh, five Bay too stupid. Uh, uh. They didn't include five Bay. There's certain things Sean would not include five Bay on. First of all, five Bay, Sean don't give a fuck about you. You just around because you need it. Sean has never liked you. First of all, you don't like it because you talk too motherfucking much. And you're dumb and uncouth. You have no charisma. Isn't that right, Bradley? We've been on the phone many, many nights, child. When we were cool. He's never liked her. Isn't that right, on-site April? But on-site April, I need for you to talk too. Why aren't you talking anymore? I'm confused on that. What are you holding on to, on-site April? You've been fucked from sun up to sun down by everybody. So I don't understand why haven't you said anything yet? Are you holding it for a book? Are you looking for a book deal? Because on site April, I don't understand you. I see you come in and you moderate for channels. But why haven't you spoke out about shit? It makes me wonder about you sometimes as well. Even though, you know, I like my on-site April, sure do. But on-site April, what are you cooking? What are you cooking on-site April? We're going to talk about it today. We back in Cabrina Green, bitch. And all of us live here. And I want to know, what the hell is going on? I'm thinking something about on-site April. I don't want to say it yet. But I'm feeling some kind of way about that on-site April. I think I believe I know what you're doing. <laughs> if, you, if you're doing what I think you're doing. Ooh, baby. It's going to light the streets on fire. If you're doing what I think you're doing. I don't know if you're doing it or not, but if you're doing what I think you're doing, baby, baby, that would be something. Ooh, that would be something. That would be, that would be amazing. <laughs> On site, April, if you're doing what I think you're doing. I could be wrong because I'm just I'm just a deviant child and I'm thinking some kind of way right now. And on site, every if you're doing something, I think you're doing baby, baby, baby. And there's somebody else that's missing. Somebody is missing. Have anybody ever asked themselves who's missing? There is a person is missing it's a female where is this individual I know she's still here she's just under a troll account what is outspoken one Where in the hell is outspoken one? Now whose side are you on, outspoken one? Are you still over there with Sean? 
in Timothy? Did it not work out for you? Or did it? Where in the fuck is outspoken one? You can't be on social media and make a name for yourself and then all of a sudden just disappear. Outspoken one, you're here. You just under one of your troll accounts, right? Mm-mm. When people think they putting the wool over your eyes, really. Honey, I see straight through madness. I work I work wonderful with madness, more so than I do with logic. I'm just a mad scientist. A mad scientist. But I want to know more, Tracy D. Back to you. I want more. Because what you gave me, they ain't shit. They number piss on the ant. Mm -mm. Don't mean shit to me. And that ant still couldn't move through that piss. I need more. That's it. She ran over to, to Olivia. You got to give us a whole bunch. And Mrs. Olivia, you need to go back and learn some stuff before you even do that interview with her. And she's going to tell us from the beginning to the end. And there could not be, I can't speak on that. Uh-uh. I do not want to hear, I can't speak on that. Mm-mm. We're not in the court of law. This is Cabrini Green. This is YouTube. An entertainment application. Mm-mm. If she cannot speak on anything, there's no need for no interview. If she can't talk about certain subjects, what the fuck is what the fuck is the interview all about? See, the interview is not on her terms. Is on the person who's doing the interviewing, not the interviewer. No. If she can't give us more than what she gave us, what the hell is she talking for? I don't want no, I don't want no part of this. I'm sickly and my mama's sick. I don't care. I don't give two fucks. You were sickly and your mama was sickly when you was over in that fuck shit with Five Bay. And I'm so tired of hearing that bullshit too. Because I saw that in a few, I saw that under a few videos in the comment section. I, let me tell you this. I'm not understanding what none of you raggedy bitches on YouTube who are half dead. You know your ass got nine toes in the grave. Why the fuck are you on YouTube keeping up confusion? You got nine motherfucking toes in the grave. But you on YouTube keeping up confusion. And then you get upset when we drag your ass. Really? You got bitches on her on dialysis. Really? Bitch, you need a fucking kidney, bitch. I'm not talking about the ones with HIV. Fuck that. I'm talking about the bitches on dialysis. What? Bitches on her with cancer. But got they motherfucking ass in the confusion. Do you not understand that this type of shit on here what will cause you to die? I mean, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And then you expect for me to be nice with you? You want me to play nice. I don't understand why people keep talking about people's health. Fuck your health. You didn't give a fuck about me. You bought your unhealthy, ugly ass on this bitch talking about me and you think I'm supposed to care about your health? Fuck you and your health. Bitch, you can drop dead. I don't understand it. You don't give two goddamn eye orders about your own self and you want me to care? I don't understand why they drag children. You ain't got to understand it, bitch. I'm going to do it. I'm going to drag from the credit to the grave. And whoever don't like it, bitch, don't watch it. Fuck you and that bitch that came from your puss. And for the dead bitches that came out your puss as well. 
You can all get it when I get it. From your dead parents too. Just like Spiller Boy said yesterday. What did Spiller Boy say? I will dig your dead mama up and dance with that dead body. Damn Skippy bitch. That's exactly like me. He's just like me. He's just like me. He's just like me. Enough is enough. How, I mean, what type of games y'all playing on this bitch? Oh, you can say what you want to say, but I can't say what I want to say. I don't give a fuck about these bitches on here. I don't. And Kwani says she doesn't care about us. I don't. Bitch, I don't know you. Bitch, you don't know you. You couldn't have known you. That's the reason why you're real fucking with me. You don't like the fuck I say? Don't listen. Ho. Slut. You didn't want out here and got some damn ragged ass disease. And now you mad at me about it. And you're going to get mad when I drag your ass about it. You talk about my disease. You talk about my children. You talk about my dead parents. Bitch, I wouldn't know the bitch was dead until you came over here and told me. I wouldn't know you had no fucking disease until you told me. I wouldn't know you need a kidney or a brain, bitch. Well, I know the majority of you ain't got no goddamn brain. I wouldn't know you need a goddamn thing unless you came over here and told it. Stop telling your motherfucking business and I won't be able to drag you about it. You come on social media and tell the entire world you have HIV. Am I supposed to care? I don't. And then you go live and say, well, you could get it too. I most certainly can, but bitch, I don't have it though. We can all get something. And if I had it, I wouldn't be on no social media platform telling the world. How about we don't give a fuck about you? Have you ever thought about that? No one cares. Well, I don't. I mean, that's the crazy part about this. What you want is sympathy? I can't empathize with you. I can't empathize with you because, bitch, I don't have it. I cannot empathize with nobody with no HIV because I don't have it. I cannot empathize with somebody with a dead parent because I don't have it. I cannot empathize with no dead baby because I don't have one. Fuck out of here. Something's wrong with you bitches. Craziness. I cannot empathize with no drug addict because I've never been one. I can't empathize with no alcoholic because I ain't never been one. Now I can have sympathy and that's only by choice. I only sympathize with the ones I care about or I like. And then you say some fuck shit, that's gone. Get on here and go tell somebody how to fight somebody. Child, please. Come back to Tracy D. Always a lesson in everything. Tracy D. The only way we're going to listen is until you tell us the truth. I want to know if there's a restraining order. Because we know that there isn't. There isn't one. There isn't one at all. Isn't that right, Tracy D? There isn't a restraining order. And what made it work so well for her, for 5 8 with that restraining order lie, is because none of us challenged her until all of us fell out. And another thing that made it work is because Susie became silent. You know why Susie became silent? Because Susie was running for process service. So she thought there was a restraining order. Because she wouldn't open the door just like Fab Eight. So by her not opening up the door, she didn't know what was coming to the door. So she just went along with the fuck shit too. And she wasn't privy to what the law is. She had all those bitches over there.
Oh yes, I'm taking a pause for the calls. Susie had all those bitches over there. And nobody had any sense. Really? See, the goat can't work. without having anybody over there to help her. So I'm going to need TSCC to upgrade. You do know everybody can stay. Sirius Bayless, I hope you're listening to this. Because you don't know how to present yourself on YouTube either. And everybody was asking, why are you going on phone up? Why you, you don't like Sirius Bayless? I ain't got no issue with Sirius Bayless. But Sirius Bayless, I'm going to need some bass in your voice. I'm going to need you to go live and know what the hell you talking about. Because see, now you have became second chair. You know, Susan, the president. Of TSCC. She's the CEO. And now you are the vice president. I'm going to need you to do better. I'm going to need you to have some confidence. When you go live. So when you and Susie are talking. You know what I mean? Because they are talking. I'm going to need you to do better. I'm going to need for you to feel good about the words that are coming out of your mouth. Sirius Bayless. Because right now you're looking kind of weak. Now, I saw you come in my room the other day. And I thought it was fabulous. I called you out. I saw you sitting there. But I'm going to need you to do better. So when you go live, speaking for TSCC. Because when you're speaking for TSCC, you're also speaking for Susie. I'm going to need you to put your best foot forward. But you do know you have to cut some people out of that group, right? And I know Susie listening. Love you, Sue. Even though you fucked up and did some fuck shit. Fuck nigga shit. But back to this. I'm going to need you to do better. But there are going to be some certain people you're going to cut out of uh, TSCC. Because everybody don't make the cut. Mm -mm. Bless Watkins. Let's talk about you, sister. Let's talk about you, grandma. Granny to a granny. You want to be back part of TSCC? Bless Watkins. All I need is a yes or no, bitch. I, I, I need for you to speak for yourself. No, no, no. I don't want Lady Detroit talking for you or Lady Nika talking for you. I want Bless Watkins to talk. Do you want to be part of TSCC again? Answer that question, Bless Watkins. We want to know. You hear what I said? We want to know. Blessed. We want to answer before Sunday. Don't you go live every morning? We want that answer by Sunday. Do you want to be back with TSCC? There could be a place for you after all. I'm going to tell you how to get back in. Okay? Blessed Watkins. Oh, is it Blasphemy Watkins? I, I like Blasphemy better. Thank you, Demi. You did do that. You did that, Demi. Blasphemy Watkins. We want that answer. By Sunday.
You know who I've been, who I channel I haven't watched lately? I'm going to mosey on over to that channel and see what's going on over there. Chopper. Chopper style. Chop, chop, chopper style. Chopper, chopper. What has Chopper been doing and up to? Are there any lessons I could learn from Chopper over there? Could be some. I'm at the mosey on over there. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I'm over my soapbox. Because I'm sure there'll be more videos going on. And I'm sure some videos are live right now. honey. Let's have fun. I'm at home. The Taj Mahal. I got me a little old grand piano in my Cabrini Green apartment. The hallways are still pissy. And they're doing three chord molly out there. Let me look. Yeah. I see them out there doing th three chord molly. And then we got somebody down yonder way selling drugs. Rita. Rita. Mm -mm. Is that Rita down there? I think that's Rita down there getting Percocets. Is that Rita? Could be. Uh, same little drugs, honey. You didn't hear that from me. You didn't hear that from me, okay? But we right here in Cabrina Green having us a fabulous time. I'm thinking about having me a little old, nice little cocktail party tonight. Nice old cocktail party tonight. I'm gonna tell everybody to use the stairs. I think the elevator may be broken. It smells like piss anyway. Have me a nice little old cocktail party tonight. I would love for Natasha Milan to show up. Natasha, could you bring us some tea? And I love, I would just love just one Luna Doom. A Luna Doom. Give me one Luna Doom. I don't normally eat a lot of desserts. That's how I'm able to stay 12, you know? I stay 12 years of age because I don't eat desserts, bitch. But one thing about this skin, bitch, it's clear. Freckles and moles and all, bitch. Mm -hmm. And maybe, just maybe, somebody's credit card would work to buy me some edges for this party. What y'all think? Mm. Who should I ask? We got one person who got a credit, one credit card de declined in Milwaukee. And in Illinois, we got two credit cards declined. Damn, bitch. No money. At least I thought a bitch could buy me some edges. Damn. I guess not. I digress. Ooh, let me mosey on and take me a nice little bubble bath. So I can have this nice little dinner party this evening. Right here in my little beautiful Cabrina Green unit. I decide to have my... I got a penthouse, penthouse in Cabrina Green. I'm on the 20th floor. Up here all by myself. Little old me. Little old me. Welcome to the Cabrini Green Chronicles. Part two. How you like me now? Welcome.